Hey option traders, for today's trade we are looking at a bullish option play in well-known chipmaker NVIDIA. The stock has been on the decline since November of 2021 and is currently sitting below its 21, 50, and 200 day moving averages. So today we're going to look at how to set up a bullish option trade called a bull call spread. Looking at NVIDIA on MarketSmith, the stock is currently meeting resistance at its 21 day exponential moving average. Shares attempted to climb above this area yesterday, but have pulled back slightly today. Across above this line would be a major improvement for the stock and even signal a potential character change in the stock. Yesterday's upside move also occurred in strong volume, which is a very good sign and may indicate there is some institutional support coming back into the stock. So with the stock attempting to regain this key level of support, you could consider putting on a bullish risk-defined strategy known as a bull call spread. A bull call spread is an excellent strategy for beginners and is used when investors expect the underlying stock price to go up. So remember with options there are two types, there are calls and there are puts. And with both calls and puts you can either be a buyer or a seller. Just like with any stock you can either buy long or sell short. A bull call spread is a debit spread which basically means you'll pay a premium up front for initiating the trade. So for this trade, we are both buying a call with a given strike price and then selling a call with a higher strike price simultaneously. Together, they create this spread. Both calls are on the same stock and have the same expiration date, but the difference in strike prices creates a range. The investor can expect a profit or a loss based on where the stock finishes within that range upon the option expiration date. So for the bull call spread, we expect the stock to go up between now and the options expiration. The investor nets a debit for putting on this trade, meaning that you have to pay a premium up front to initiate the trade. The value of the call options increases as the underlying stock price rises, just fundamental fact. With a bull call spread, you'd make the maximum profit if the price of the stock at expiration is above or at the short strike price. In this case, the long call would have increased in value as much as it could before reaching the short strike, where profits are capped. You'd see a maximum loss, which is the debit paid for the trade up front, if the underlying price is at or below the long call strike price. Your losses are limited to the net cost that you paid to enter the position, while profits are capped at the difference between the strike prices minus the debit paid up front. So it's important to know your potential gain, loss, and break-even points for the trade. And this will depend on the width between the two strike prices of the calls in the spread. For example, buying a 45 call and selling a 51 call creates a spread that's $6 wide. If the bull call spread costs a total of $4.50, the maximum loss is $4.50 times 100 shares of stock each option represents, so the max loss would be $450. The maximum gain would be $150. Take the width of the spread minus the premium paid and then you have your maximum gain. So let's take a look at my trading platform and set up a real life trade. So here we are on Thinkorswim on my trading platform. First, type in NVDA. And if you're on Thinkorswim like I am, you can select vertical as your spread type here in this box, which will make it easier to set up the trade. And we're gonna go pretty far out into the future. We are looking at the December 16th expiration date. We've got some strike prices down here we're going to be looking at this side of the screen because this is where prices are for calls and we're going to adjust these strike prices down below. So to summarize down here, we are looking to buy one 140 call and sell one 145 call, both of which expire in December. We're looking at buying the December 140 call and selling the December 145 call to create this spread. The spread would cost roughly $195 in premium. The trade has a maximum potential gain of $305. If the stock closes below 140 on December 16th, the most the trade could lose 
is the $195 premium paid. Potential gains are also capped above 145. So no matter how high the stock might go, the most the trade could profit is $305. In terms of trade management, if the stock dropped below 120, I would consider closing it early here for a loss. As this is a bullish position, traders that think Nvidia could move lower from here should not enter this trade. As always, remember that if you are new to options, make sure that you practice with a virtual account before risking any real capital. And remember that options are very complex and investors can lose 100% or more of their investment, so be sure to do your homework. Check out investors.com options for more option trading tips. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching Investors Business Daily on YouTube. If you wanna watch more videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing.